This is the review for the Freud Diablo blade. Uh, this is an 80 tooth non ferrous blade. Alright, that seemed to help. As you can see, got a real nice polished edge again. Um, blade cuts were really nice, um, but even with the slow feed rate, I'm still getting a little bit of a deflection right when it's coming in. So uh, that could be attributed to um, the sled that I'm using right here. This is just a single runner sled. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and build a double runner right, sled. I went ahead and made that sled. I got a double runner sled. It's going to go to a lot more stringent in the holes here so anyways I just used some hardwood runners screwed it down got a little bit more bracing up here at the top in case the blade goes up high enough I don't want it to flex and uh, something that I do and anything I'm running across any of the cast iron tools they can slide nice and smooth I'll put this uh, min wax paste finish on there Johnson's paste wax works great as well uh, basically I'm just going to open it up slide it on the bottom of this sled here on the runners and then buff it back off and this stuff goes across the table like glass uh, so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'll make a first test cut in the aluminum see if i fix that problem of deflection um, i also went i found this saved by forest um, this is just a blade stiffener what it does is it gets screwed onto the side of the blade and uh, this is i don't know it looks like maybe eighth inch steel um, it goes ahead and stiffens that blade up so it can't wobble and flex at all um, it also adds a little weight to the blade so it gives a little extra power too. This is on a three horsepower saw so um, that extra rotational mass will help chip through this aluminum a little bit better as All well. Right, here goes the test cut so, number one. That just absolutely showered me in aluminum. <laughs> Alright, so here's the cut. And um, not very good. You can see there's only the mirror right on the edge over there. This is kind of rough. So I was pushing that a little hard going through there, but this blade just cuts so easily through this aluminum. Here's one of the off cut pieces. Um, I'm going to try it again, change up some stuff, and uh, try a little bit slower of feed rate. And while I'm at it, uh, like I said, I got showered in aluminum. Some of it was all flying all over me, hit me in the face. It didn't feel so good. So what I'm going to do is I just added this piece over here to match the height of this. I got some scrap plastic. This is maybe 3 16 inch thick or so. I'm going to cut a strip real quick. I'm going to screw it into this. That way... Um, the aluminum is going to hit this and bounce back down and not fly in my face. Uh, we'll also see how well this blade will cut this plastic. It says it's a good plastic cutting blade as well. Here we go. Bring the blade down. I'm going to start it up. It's a really nice clean cut. So it cuts plastic very nicely as well. This blade's alright. I'm gonna do a little bit more plastic cutting. Just trimming this down. edge but real nice clean cuts all right next I'm gonna show you another little tool that I got um, had laying around for many years because I used to work with plastics quite a bit uh, anyways this is a phenolic countersinking bit uh, this bit has a 90 degree point I don't know if you can see that or not in the camera but it really allows you to go through plastic without chipping much 
Um, it's all high speed steel. Uh, this one was picked and up in pole well. number two. Still not a perfect cut, as you can see by, I'm polished right in here. You know, it's a decent slice, I got little pieces falling off, but a little rough on this edge here, a little rough on this edge here, but um, it's getting there. I'm gonna try to stabilize and see if that works, see if that helps out at all. All right, stiffener's installed, and I didn't mention last time around, but this little guard worked great. All the chips flew out away from me, not into my face, so. Definitely a worthwhile improvement for the five minutes it took. There we go. And it's definitely looking Better. There's a little bit of wavering right here. I'm going to try it again. See what happens. Alright, round two. That time I shut it down with the blade sitting right there and push it forward or back to see if that changed anything. It's definitely not as polished when you do that, when you let the blade slow down. So, I'll keep trying. See if I can't get a nice clean edge all the way across. Uh, this will be the last time I try messing around with this. Um, I'm going to push it all the way through and see what it looks like. And again, polished pretty much over the entire piece except for a few spots. So, I don't know. I'll throw a small piece on there and see if it handles small piece. I just think that this is probably too thick of material for this to cut and polish an edge across there. But uh, I mean, we're really splitting hairs on this. I could clean this up with a router and a straight edge real easy. And just again to reiterate, this is the cut that I just did. And it's not a bad cut. I just hoped that I could get a perfect mirror polish across it. But as you can see, I'm setting it right down on the cast iron. And uh, I mean, there's really no gap at all on here. So I mean, it is, it's doing its job and it's handling it real nicely. Uh, you're not getting the ultimate finish pol possible, but uh, for something to cut through this material this quick, this fast, uh, I think the blade is pretty awesome. All right. Like I said, I'm going to do a cut with a quarter inch bar stock. We'll see if that comes out nice and smooth or not. We'll find out. And yes. And the answer to that quarter inch bar stock is yes, it does come out with a nice clean polished edge. So clearly the thicker stock is making that blade deflect. And for the final test today for this blade, I'm going to cut two and a half inch square, quarter inch thick aluminum tube. And um, I got the blade extended to its full capacity right now. So with the height of this uh, sled, this is about the extent of what you can cut is about two and a half inches thick without flipping it over. So here we go.
And there we go, a really, really nice clean edge. On all four sides, there's no daylight visible. That's just the ends. So, all in all, I'd have to say this blade does a really good job and um, look forward to using it.